Hey, this is Mike. I am an HVAC trainer. I've been doing HVAC for the past 22 years. And now I do training and I'm sharing everything that I learned with you. So today's video is about finding a short in an air conditioning system. So most of the time when you go to a unit and you have a transformer blown or you have a 5 amp fuse blown for a lot of new HVAC people, it can be intimidating because you have no idea where to look. Most shorts in HVAC systems are very simple. They're very basic. They're right there in your face. Most of the time, a short is on a low voltage wire in the outdoor unit. If you have a split unit, it's going to be in the condenser. And it's usually going to be one of the low voltage wires that is touching one of the refrigerant pipes inside the unit. That wire is usually touching, the condenser vibrates, the wire rubs bare, and a piece of copper touches the tubing, blows the fuse. It's probably over 90% of electrical shorts. So if you have a blown fuse, the very first thing you should do is go outside, take the lid of the condenser off, look in that condenser, and then trace every low voltage wire and look for the wire that is touching. If you don't see one of those, the next thing to do is to take a look at the low voltage wire that's going into the condenser, the thermostat wires. Take a look at where the thermostat wires are going through that hole to go into the cabinet. Is it touching the metal right there? We dealt with this yesterday. I have an example for you. Take a look at this thermostat wire. This thermostat wire, I don't know if you can see, the insulation is broken on it and the metal was touching right where it goes through, which was causing the short. It's an easy five minute fix. You found it right there just by looking. A couple other tips. So first thing you're gonna do if you have a low voltage short is look at the wires in the condenser. Then you're gonna look at the low voltage wires that's going into the unit to make sure it's not touching right there. You're gonna look where the wire nuts are on the low voltage. Usually it's crammed into a little tiny com little cabinet make sure they're not touching there look at the low voltage wire that's going to the condenser did a dog nibble on it did a weed eater hit it did the sun dry rot the insulation and all the wires are touching the next thing you're gonna do is look at the contactor if you can see the contactor coil is the contactor coil black and burnt looking usually those coils are nice copper and shiny if it's black and burnt looking, then you can take one of the, take the 24 volts off the contactor, see if the fuse blows. The next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna look at the reversing valve coil, it's usually orange. Is it black and burnt looking? If it is, you can start there. Usually you're gonna find it on one of those things. It's gonna be over 90% of your electrical shorts. I'll make another video if you can't find it there, but typically, that's where it's gonna be. All right, so these are the things. It's a little harder to learn in school when you're in HVAC school. This is field experience. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you have any questions about finding electrical shorts, leave one in the comments. I'll make sure I go answer them. Hit a like on this video. Catch me in the next one.